Hey everybody, how you doing out there? Hey, I'm back with another wonderful video. I'm in the process of trying to create space. Um, so, that being said, I'm purging a few things out of the room and putting them away. I haven't decided yet on if I want to downsize. I have a few things I think I am going to get rid of, but we'll see how that goes. Things being the way they are right at the moment and everything. So the first thing I looked at when I was tearing my room apart to put away were all of my action figures. So I figured I'd just do a video, show them. It's, not, it's really nothing nobody's ever seen before or hasn't seen before. But there are technically four sets, even though one of them is a reissue and repackage. But the first ones came out in 1999, and it's John and Jeremy. This is from the first set that came out. All the backs are the same. But um, then I have uh, George in the sub. I'm not going to show the backs again. I have Ringo in the Blue Mini. That was the biggest package there was. But I had these hanging on the wall. And being that they're blister packs um, and cardboard, I don't want anything to happen to them. So. Plus I needed the space. And I have Paul in the Flying Glove. And then, just to be a pain in the ass, and I don't know if anybody that collects Beatles stuff has noticed this, but anytime they come out with a set of something, there's always one that they get out there that is a major pain in the butt to find. Um, and this is it for this set, and it is Paul, but this time with young Fred. He was chaser figure. He's not even on the box so it took a little while to find them you know to get one but it worked out I got it then excuse my reach the second set came out in the next year 2000 and that would be the Sgt. Pepper technically the Sgt. Pepper set and there's the back but that's George with the Snapping Turk. You have Ringo with the Apple Bonker. John with the Bulldogs. And last but not least, Paul with the Sucker Dude. These didn't have a chase figure, at least not that I know of. Then what they did is they... I just don't have a big enough table. They um, re-released the first set in... I want to say 2004. And what they did is they changed the packaging and reconfigured the figures. So it's George in the Blue Mini, but in a totally different package. I guess they ran out of ideas at the time. And there's Paul and Jeremy. Man, I just don't have the room in here. Stuff is going to go flying. I see it coming. Ringo in the sub. And last but not least, John in the flying glove. Made by the same company and everything. The McFarland figures. Distributed by, um, I think he owns Spawn, is what they call the company. 
And then the last set they came out with came out in well, same year, 2004, where the cartoon set. And there's Ringo. And there's the back. When you take them out of the package, it, form, it makes a stage when you put them all together. And then I have George. You can see the stage piece behind him. John. And last but not least, Paul. These are pretty pricey now if you can find them. They're not, they're not, um, I think they were 13 bucks when they came out. Then last but not least, excuse me, they came out with the box set with all four characters and an alligator in it. I want to say this came out in 2005 maybe as a Christmas thing. That's all of them that I have anyway. Um, there is a box set of the first yellow submarine figures. Nothing different about it, just the four guys in the sub and a box just like that one. It's uh, no big deal. But it's a short video. I just wanted to get these out there because I'm getting ready to... Well, I mean, they were boxed up. I'm going to box them up and put them away. So as I start putting stuff away, I'm going to go ahead and shoot a video on it. But I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, hanging out, all that good stuff. And if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. If you are, I thank you very much for watching, and we will see you soon. Till next time.